hi welcome back to meta perfume i'm emily and i'm going to continue today with my series on pacifica i've uh, acquired all of the pacifica fragrances on their website mostly just these small roller balls but today i'm going to go over the tahitian gardenia and this is a really respectable solid floral fragrance um, definitely a good value and sort of a particular taste you really have to enjoy florals or be willing to work with them um, because it's a, a real it's good but it's like flowers in your face and the notes are possibly gardenia but there's a, a rumor that they're actually maybe tiare flower as the main note and it might be um, incorrectly recorded on Fragrantica so I think that's likely Since people with more sensitive noses than me have said they don't smell gardenia in this but they do smell the tiare flower so that may be the number one note that has some jasmine and a little bit of orange and tea and I love orange and tea as notes but I don't really smell them I just get this like serious floral fragrance but it's very um it's beautiful it's lovely you have to really enjoy florals or just you know work with it so i would i'm not the biggest fan of florals so i'm probably not going to wear this on its own a lot i might you know in the springtime once or twice but because it has these sub notes of orange and tea which I don't pick up. Um, I think that's just kind of a guide to how I would layer it. So I would take like Orange Sanguine by Atelier Cologne, which is one of my favorite fragrances to layer, and I would um, pair that with this to give it a little bit of an orange kick, or I might layer it with a tea fragrance like White Tea from Elizabeth Arden to give that like more of a floral punch. Yes, it is really nice. And if I was like a lover of flower fragrances, just pure floral fragrances, this would definitely be one I would want to have in my collection. I mean, they're a great value on the Pacifica site, all vegan and cruelty free, which is fantastic. I myself have been vegan since 2014, New Year's Day. I would never ever go back. Speciesism is not cool. And you just get way better health, so. Um, yeah, Tahitian Gardenia, I would say it's great for the spring and summer. It's probably a little bit more of a daytime fragrance, uh, being bright, but you could take it into the night. <sighs> it's very feminine, obviously very floral. <sighs> long, pretty long longevity for a floral fragrance too. I'd say it's got like six to, to eight hours, depending on how much you put on. Now, obviously I have a roller ball, so I haven't been applying a lot of it because it's hard to put fragrance on with a roller ball unless it's on your skin so if you want to put it on your clothes here's what I think I think they should retire the roller balls as an option obviously they're probably a little cheaper than like the small sprays but you can't apply them to your clothes without getting like fabric fuzzies in your your juice and it's just so much nicer when you've got the little spray on there so people come on but you know, to test something out, that's your option. It's probably better than investing in something if you don't know if you'll like it or use it in the full size. So yeah, Tahitian Gardenia is definitely a solid fragrance. I would recommend it if you'd like florals, tiare flower and or gardenia, whichever it may be. <laughs> um, it's definitely a good one to have in your collection. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you in my next video very soon. Take care, please subscribe if you haven't or like this video. I'm almost to 200 subscribers, so. Come on, just three more. <laughs> Thanks all. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.